Hi there, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you how to fix this blue screen of death you might be getting on your Windows 10 machine. Hope you find this guide useful. If you do, please help me out by subscribing to my channel. Okay, so you'll get this uh, blue screen of death um, intermittently on your machine. You won't get it every time you boot to Windows. Uh, it will just be randomly happening uh, when you're using your computer. And it will display this error here, bad pull caller. Um, if you've overclocked your CPU to a faster speed, um, I'd recommend that you set that back to the default because that's one thing that's quite known to cause this issue. Uh, the next thing is more likely to be a driver causing the issue. So if you just left click on your start menu, type in device manager, and if you just left click on this application here, now what you need to do is go through every single bit of hardware you've got on your machine and update the driver. Um, if you don't want to go through every single one of them, I'd recommend you start with the display adapter and the network adapter. So here we've got the Intel Pro 1000 MT desktop adapter. If we just right click on there and go to properties, click on the driver tab. Here we can see the driver version. So what you need to do is you need to go to the Intel website. Uh, you need to check if there's a newer driver. If there is, download it and install it on your machine. Um, so to install it, what we need to do is right click there and do update driver. You can actually click on search automatically because sometimes it will find drivers and install them. Uh, but if you just downloaded a newer one from the Intel website as I just showed you there, you can actually click on browse my machine uh, you can then browse to where you downloaded the file and install the driver from that way um, i'd recommend starting with display adapter network adapter so update those two reboot your machine uh, if you're still getting the issue i'd recommend updating every single uh, driver you have in your machine so it's quite easy to do, so you just do the update driver search automatically. Okay, so once you've done that, if you then restart your machine, uh, the issue should go away. If it doesn't, come into File Explorer here, click on this PC, and then if you right click on your C drive and go to Properties, click on the Tools tab, and under Error Checking, click on Check and then click on scan drive um, you can see it's actually doing the scan now it might prompt you to do the scan at next reboot if it does just click yes and reboot your machine uh, what this is doing is doing something called a check disk so it's checking your C drive for any corrupt files if it finds any corrupt files it'll automatically fix it uh, because it's a, possibly a corrupt file that's causing these blue screen of deaths um, okay, so the scan's finished. So as soon as that's finished, just restart your machine. If you're still getting a problem, something else you can do is run Windows Update. So if you just left click on your start menu, click on settings, click on update and security, and there should be a button here saying check now. Um, I actually checked it before this video and it's actually asking me for a reboot now. Uh, but if you just click on check now, it'll automatically check the web Microsoft website. It'll download any um, fixes, hot fixes for your machine and it'll automatically install them. Um, so just reboot your machine and then come back in here and repeat the process again because sometimes it requires two, three times to install all of the updates available. Okay, if you've got any questions on this process, please post it in a comment below and I'll be sure to help you out if you need it. But thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video.